What up guys? I got something pretty awesome in the mail today and that is this DC Bombshells vinyl figure of Harley Quinn. It's the Noir Edition. That just means that she's black and white with a couple of spot colors because they make a full color version as well. But I like stylized coloring on stylized figures. It just makes sense to me. And they're done in a style like from the 1940s. So this Noir uh, paint job, I just think makes them look way cooler in my opinion. Even though the color ones are pretty too. They made three of them. I also got these two. Wonder Woman and Catwoman are both limited to 3,000 pieces each. But I couldn't find whether Harley was. Um, these ones were available at the con and Harley was available at Barnes & Noble. So I don't know if Barnes & Noble just ordered more Harleys or what. But yeah, these two are pretty limited. But I was able to get them for 30 bucks each as well. So I'm kind of happy about that. These are made by a company called Cryptozoic. They mainly make board games and like deck building games and stuff like that. But they're starting to get into the vinyl figures and they're making um, a couple other different uh, Harley figures. Um, some minis of these girls um, with a lot more of the DC characters in there. Um, they're like little mystery minis and tins. They're pretty cool, but not as cool as these, of course. And they're also making some vinyl figures of Bone, which is like this fantasy comic book, kind of like a cartoony Lord of the Rings thing that I really like. So I'm looking forward to purchasing that when it comes out. But yeah, they're a little bit pricey, but they're really cool. And you're about to see that. Let me open this up. Man, this is one beautiful figure. This is everything that a designer vinyl toy should be. You can tell that this was sculpted by a master. The choice of colors is creative and they're applied perfectly. Like, I really love this black and white with this red spot color. I love that combination to begin with. And it is just balanced so right here. And I just love those green eyes with the cat eye makeup. It's just awesome. And I love the makeup on her cheeks. This is one of the most beautiful faces I've seen on a highly stylized toy. Sometimes they can look a little creepy or just weird and just bizarre. But the sculptor managed to get a perfect combination of sexy, because she is a pinup, you know, and pinups are supposed to be sexy. That's why they're called pinups, because guys used to grab those and literally pin them up on their locker or pin them up on their wall or wherever in their planes, you know. These were also painted on the side of bombers. That's why they're called, you know, DC bombshells. So they got the perfect sexy pinup style, but she also looks cute, like a stylized vinyl toy. It's just a great, great balance of that. And, um, yeah, this sculptor really knocked it out of the park. And this company obviously makes a very high quality vinyl toy. I'm very much looking forward to whatever vinyl toys are produced in the future. Her bomber jacket looks really nice and it really does look like sheep's wool right here. It's done very simply, but it totally reads like sheep's wool. Really cool. Loving the dog tags. I'm loving those 1940s style booty shorts and the curves to her. It just looks awesome and I love the knee highs. I'm not sure if this is a playing card or a flask or what is in her socks there. Um, but yeah, and her base is a bomb, which is appropriate. I'm not sure if you can take her off or not. I'm not gonna chance breaking her. Um, but yeah, and I also love how they did the hair. Sometimes with these vinyl toys, they kind of go overboard with the hair, putting too many lines in it, but they got a really good balance here because it still looks stylized, but it still looks like hair. And they did put a few lines in there, but they didn't go overboard. It just, it really fits the style of this toy perfectly. And yeah, I can't get over how nicely done that face is. And even the red on her mouth, they made that a little bit more glossy than the red on her gloves and her um, bra and her socks. So it's a really nice touch. They didn't really have to do that. They could have just made it the same red and probably wouldn't notice. The paint application on her highlight is done really well. It gradiates out. It's just, this is just masterfully done. Her goggles look awesome. And you can really appreciate the craftsmanship, especially right here on the pop gun with her finger coming in through the trigger hole and her hand holding it. Um, obviously, these were two different pieces that they had to put together. But none of that paint is smeared because they probably had to force this gun in there before gluing it. And it's just, 
it's done perfectly. There is no errors in the paint anywhere on this. And that pose is really awesome. I'm really liking this. Um, the full color ones are really cool looking too. But I just think that this black and white really works with the pinup style. Just looks like a nice classic piece of Americana. I have a Catwoman Vinyl Vixen, which is also kind of done in a pinup style. And I have her on my bookshelf right now. But I have a feeling that this Harley Quinn is definitely going to take her spot right now. Because, yeah, there's no way I'm putting this back in the package. She is just too pretty to, to put in a box. This DC Bombshells Harley Quinn Noir Edition is about 7.5 inches tall, which I think is perfect because it's big enough to really appreciate the craftsmanship that went into it, but it's not so big that's going to take up a whole bunch of space. Really looking forward to see what else this company, Cryptozoic, puts out when it comes to vinyl figures. Because I am highly impressed by this. I thought it was a little bit expensive at first at $29.99. But after seeing her, this is definitely a great, I wouldn't say deal. But I'm very happy with my purchase because she's absolutely beautiful. She's going to be a centerpiece in my bookshelf now. And I'm quite happy with it. I ordered her from barnesandnoble.com. They actually packaged it pretty well, and the shipping was free. So if you're looking for one, I believe they're still up on the website. I'm not sure if this one is as limited as the Wonder Woman and the Catwoman, um, but I can't imagine them making too many more than 3,000 pieces, especially for a company that's just barely getting into vinyl figures. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking something out that's a little different from Pops. There are so many great vinyl toys out there and artists and companies producing them that it's hard for me to just stick to pops. Every once in a while, something spectacular like this comes out that I just have to get and share. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also leave a comment telling me about some other kind of vinyl toys that you enjoy collecting or any kind of toys in general that you enjoy besides pops. Um, I'm really curious to know what other stuff you guys enjoy. All right, take it easy, guys.